up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps, and sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate and leave for us. Love you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart chakra, we're 13,190 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. Love you guys. Okay, so I received a channeling. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll do the daily tea. Uh, this one just came upon me when I was sitting here chillaxing, so we'll do it. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Just saying, just saying. Okay. So um, the channel message I received, hope, hopefully y'all can hear me okay. The channel message I received was someone that is in a position, um, a very professional position right now. They are severely overqualified, um, not overqualified, underqualified, underqualified. Um, and I heard they keep making error after error after error after error. I heard through many series of chain of events. Um, they're about to be terminated. They're going to be shocked and pissed. Um, but it needs to happen. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, whoever this person is and however they apply in the universe. I didn't hear a specific career sector, career field, etc., etc., etc. Y'all know I'm very versed in nursing because I've been a nurse for so long, since 2013. But I don't know. I don't know what career sector this is in. Um, I don't even know if it's a masculine or feminine energy. It, I think it's somebody you guys are connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, it may be you, but um, I'm not sure. So you plug it in, how it resonates, you guys. Um, I heard they're in, it's a very professional position, though. I can tell you that. It's very, very, very professional position. And um, I heard they're severely underqualified. So, I mean, I'm assuming they don't have the correct credentials, licensure, certificate, or not enough experience in the career field, however that resonates. But um, to me, it could be one of those or two or two plus those uh, those things. But if they don't have the correct certificate or licensure, that's fraud, just to let everybody know. If they don't have the correct certificate or um, uh, certification or licensure, that is fraud. Um, just being straight up, straight up, straight up, if anybody needs to hear that. Um, and if that is the case, they can be reported to the state. They can be reported to Better Business Bureau. They can be reported to Corporate Compliance Line. They can be reported to many different um, avenues. There's many different avenues one can take to report if they don't have the correct certificate, credentials, or licensure, if anybody needs to hear that, um, if you are dealing with this person. And that is the case. Now, I heard they're severely underqualified. So it could be that, or it could be the fact that they don't have enough experience. Now, if they don't have enough experience, they don't have enough experience. But, um, or, uh, well, I heard they're making error after error after error after error. So, I mean, they truly are making errors. It's not manipulation. It's not sabotage. It's not sneaky behind the scenes tactics, basically. Um, they truly are screwing up, whoever they are and how they apply. Heard through many series of chain events, they're about to be um, terminated soon, and um, they're going to be very, very pissed about it. Not a wrongful termination. Not a wrongful termination is what I heard. So not a wrongful termination. There has already been huge chaos since this person has been in this position and soon there is about to be a huge, 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 huge negative power moment. A lawsuit, very serious lawsuit is about to occur over this. Very serious. Oh my Lord, you plug it in how it resonates. This is terrible. So I heard um, whoever this person is, masculine or feminine or whatever career field they're in, I don't know. But um, there's already been error after error after error after error. So they're not even doing their job correctly. They don't have enough experience or the right credentials or the right licensure or what have you, what have you. But how that resonates, um, I heard they um, 
they're making error after error. I heard there's already been huge, um, like tower S type moments in the past with this person being in this position, whatever position it is. But soon there's about to be a huge negative power moment. And I heard a very, very, very serious lawsuit is about to occur. So you plug it in how it resonates. One, it's a hospital setting. One, it's a long-term care setting. One, it's a hospital setting and one, it's a long-term care setting, I heard. So one, it's a hospital setting and one, it's a long-term care setting. So we've got two situations in here. One, it's a hospital setting. One, it's a long-term care setting. So I'm feeling these people are medical professionals in some shape, form, or fashion is what I'm feeling. Um, because we pull in a hospital and long-term care. Now, long-term care is skilled nursing. Um, for anybody that does not know that, um, bring a little nursing knowledge in to you guys. So um, one is hospital and one is long-term care. Um, but whoever this person is that's in this position that they should not be in, I feel it's a position of high authority. I feel it's a position of authority. Um, but, you know, nurses are positions of high authority. I don't care if you're LPN, LVN, RN, what have you, or CRNP or what have you. We're all positions of high authority, um, just period. Um, and I'm not saying this person is a nurse. Um, I don't know. But I feel whoever this is, they're obviously very underqualified for their position. Um, and they're making huge errors. And they're, it, they're, it's just a hot mess is what it is. A huge tower, upcoming tower moment is about to occur. And it's going to cause a lawsuit. Now, lawsuits are very serious. Very serious in um, healthcare. Very serious. Um, I love being a nurse, but I hate going into work fearing lawsuits, and that's the truth. But as a nurse, you have to be mindful of that. That's just the truth. You have to be mindful of that. You have to always be on your P's and Q's, dot your I's, cross your T's, and be on your best self at all times when you're a nurse. And I know that from so much experience being a nurse. Um because lawsuits are serious and the health of other people are very serious and the care you provide other people is very serious. And that's just the truth. Hold on a second, you guys. Heard of very serious tower moments coming soon. There's going to be a very, very, very serious lawsuit, either in this hospital or this long-term care facility or company or what have you, what have you. One, it is going to be abuse. One is going to be medical malpractice. And the, and the families and the patient is going to win. Oh my God, this is serious. One, it is going to be abuse and one, it is going to be um, medical malpractice. And I heard both of these, uh, in both of these situations, the family and the patient is going to win. These are upcoming in the universe. They haven't happened yet. I think that's the huge negative tower moment coming. And it's all because somebody is in a position, or I heard one person, but in some cases it could be two or two plus people, are in a position that basically they shouldn't be in. Um, and they keep either mismanaging person, people, or situation, or they keep um, making errors themselves. Maybe they're not knowledgeable about what they're administering or the procedure they're administering or the procedure they're, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Whatever they're doing, they are not knowledgeable on it. I'll tell you that right freaking now. And it's about to cause a huge negative tower moment. Abuse, I heard for one. So I think that's um, I think that's abuse in a, a care facility in the long-term care. Um, I think that's abuse. And that's not mismanagement. That's not, not I'm sorry, that's not, not mismanagement. That's not um, not being knowledgeable. That's just not being a good person when you are abusing somebody. And that's just the truth. If you're not providing the correct care or um, or doing what you need to do, advocate for a person, people, place, or patient, then um, that's just abuse. 
that's neglect, that's abuse, and um, that's just not being a good person. Because as nurses, you should always advocate for yourself, for your patient, and for the situation. Period, point blank. Um, I've always strongly, you learn that in nursing school, and that's just the truth. You should always advocate for your patients if you truly care, and you should be in the uh, profession. And that's the truth. There are some nurses that do it strictly for the money. You can be in around them. You just know that's the truth. And that's just the truth for real, for real. I've been around many greedy nurses that are strictly in it for the money. And that's the truth. But if you truly care about your job and you love your job and you care about the people and the patients you care for, that is, you will naturally advocate. And that's just the truth. That's the truth. I heard in both of these uh, situations, the lawsuits, they will not win. Uh, the patient's families and the patient are going to win. One is medical malpractice, one is abuse, and I strongly feel the abuse is going to be in the long-term care because we're pulling in hospital and long-term care. And I'm just being for real. But that's what happens when people um, get in with their frenzies and get in with people they think they could benefit them and blase, 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 and then this shit happens. Um, and not get in the actually qualified people that actually care for their job, care for their profession, and um, help one another. That's the truth. Spirit messages you have reflected. Queen Pentacles reverse. This lawsuit is about to really, really, really make these companies go down in a huge way on many way and on many levels. These lawsuits are about to make these companies go down on many, many levels. Um, people are not going to want to come to these companies. Hey, uh-uh, stop, stop. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on one second, you guys. Um, my cat's out of water. Hold on one second, okay? I apologize. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. So uh, I apologize. Um, so yeah. Well, I don't blame them. Um, I think word's about to get around like wildfire after this huge tower moment occurs. And um, there's about to be a lawsuit of abuse in a nursing home, that long-term care facility. I can almost guarantee you. Um, it could maybe be the hospital, but I doubt it. I doubt it because hospitals are acute care. They're acute care. And I think that's the medical malpractice one. And I'm serious. But that's what happens when you get your frenzies, your buddies up in there. When you get people up in there um, that you hang out with on the weekends and you're drinking it up with and smoking it up with and doing whatever, whatever with. And they really don't care about their job. They care about the money. And that's the truth. Okay. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Four of Wands reverse, Ace of Wands reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, and they were all upright with Ten of Wands upright. Biggest burden in the Tarot. You can't make this crap up even if you wanted to. I feel guided to get the Tarot for this. Money loss coming. I mean, I heard these companies, people are not going to even want to touch these companies um, because there's about to be huge lawsuits. 
Well, I mean, that's what happens when people don't do the right thing. An on and on and um ombudsman is about to become very 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 significant. State ombudsman. And once it's a feminine ombudsman, and once she becomes very significant with the patients and the families and the situations. She's going to learn about abuse of a family regarding hidden cameras in the past. And a older feminine air sign that works for the state will be terminated for abuse. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. What the hell is going on? That's Ace of Pentacles reversed. So, oh my God, this is a ugly web somebody has weaved. I'll just tell you that right now. Okay, so somebody is getting a huge ass wake up call. An older air sign masculine is getting a huge wake up call. An older air sign masculine is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. Somebody has weaved a very nasty um, web here. Whoever this is and how this applies. The state, okay, so... There's already been problem after problem after problem in this hospital or this long-term care facility, which has trickled down and affected the company and is about to affect the company in the form of a huge ass lawsuit. I heard they're not going to win. They are not going to win. So um, I'm assuming they'll probably bring in the nurses, the medical staff, the uh, personnel that cared for the patients and blah, 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 blah. I don't know how that works, but I'm presuming they probably will. I'm not them. I'm currently unemployed in the workforce because I've been terminated, wrongfully terminated in my city four times. So I don't, you know, I don't know because all my opportunities always get taken away from me because people are crazy. And that's just the truth. But how that resonates, um, they've got a bunch of underqualified people working up in these positions. Got a bunch of underqualified people. They're making error after error after error. There's about to be a huge ass lawsuit. One, it's abuse. One, it's medical malpractice. Heard they're both situations the family and the um, the uh, patient are going to win. So there is that going to be evidence. There's going to be proof. That could be where that hidden camera energy has been coming in. Recently, I've been pulling in in a long-term care facility. So I think a family has recently implanted a hidden camera in a patient's room to collect evidence. It's exactly what I think. And one is about to. And one is about to is what I just heard. And one is about to. Okay. Yeah. That's, I told you guys the other day. That's what I thought. Yeah. I think people are putting hidden cameras in their own personal, which they can do that. If they're in their residence room, they can put the hidden cameras in their um, space um, to collect evidence on the, um, the abuse of the um, staff to build a case, to build a case, um, for their, um, for their, um, for the, the case of abuse. Now the medical malpractice, I think that's the hospital setting. I think there's going to be a huge error and it's going to cost somebody, somebody's life. And I'm just being real. I'm serious. But the, uh, abuse one, I, I think that's regarding a patient and a patient's family that has put a hidden camera already in their, um, room. And one that is about to, because I heard one's about to, one already has. Somebody's building a case, and I'm just being for real. I'm serious. It is about to go down. It is about to go down is what I just heard, and I heard it loud. So I heard a fem ombudsman. So an ombudsman is basically an advocate. She's an advocate. Well, I heard it's a fem ombudsman, but there's masculine ombudsmans too. They work for the state, and they are advocates. For the patients, the patient's family, and um, advocates for um, for mistreatment, for mistreatment, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they're huge advocates, um, and they work for the state. Um, 
we our ombudsman here in Alabama, she is African American female. Um, she in all of our facilities, she her picture is posted on the facilities. And trust me, I've worked in many of them. I've been wrongfully terminated in four times in my city, two hospitals and two long term cares. So I mean, trust me, I know. But uh, I mean, not two hospitals. I'm sorry, three long term cares and one hospital. The other hospital I quit. Um, but however that resonates, um, the FEM ombudsman, whoever this person is in whatever state it is, I didn't hear specifically what state it is. I can only tell you from Alabama because I know Alabama. Um, they're about to get involved. No, whatever state she's in, she's about to get involved. And then I heard once she gets involved, um, she's going to learn about a hidden camera I heard that was in a family's home in the past. Um, and uh, older air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Femme, that works for the state will be terminated through many series of chain events. So Queen of she's going to be Queen of Pentacles reversed, this older air sign. An older air sign masculine is about to make a very, very, very important phone call to the state very soon. Very soon. An older air sign masculine is about to make a very important phone call to the state very soon. So whoever you are, older air sign, you are about to make a very important uh, phone call to the state very soon too. I'm not sure why. Only you know why, not anybody else. You can have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter, Charge. You plug in and how it resonates. But this is a hot ass mess express. And I'm just being serious. People should have done the right thing to begin with. Now they they didn't. They've got all these folks, underqualified folks, and all these positions. They think they're badass because they're in these positions of high authority or, or high level, her professional positions and their medical professional positions. But yet, they're not doing what they should be doing and now it's going trickling down and creating a series of chain of events about to cause lawsuits well they should have done what they they should have done the right thing um so this ombudsman is basically fem ombudsman's about to learn about abuse about hidden cameras of a family in the past and that is going to lead to the termination of the fem older fem air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius. I'm assuming the older Gemini Libra Aquarius knew about hidden cameras in a um, older fem, um, I mean, uh, uh, family's house in the past, but they did not advocate or help this family. And I'm assuming that's why they're about to get terminated. Advocacy is very significant here. And HIPAA. Advocacy and HIPAA is very significant here. So advocacy standing up for yourself or your patient or the situation because you can advocate not be a medical professional and that's just true standing up speaking the truth uh helping person people place their situation that's advocacy for anybody doesn't know advocacy and hipaa is about to become very significant here so hipaa is basically the um protection federal law protection of your um your medical protected health information so your people are cannot know any of your medical information without your consent or authorization basically you have to actually give consent and authorization for the uh protected health information to be released that's why people sign the waivers the um HIPAA waivers and that's the truth so if well, we've got hidden camera energy in here from the past so if somebody implanted a hidden camera in somebody's home and people are talking about their health conditions or their family's health conditions or medication that they're using or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in their home, that's a HIPAA violation through a hidden camera for anybody doesn't know. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call, huge. Someone is getting a huge ass wake up call, huge. I'm serious. I'm serious, you guys. This is serious. This is about to lead to two huge lawsuits. I heard the companies are not going to win. The medical professionals or professional or professionals are not going to win. They, I mean, this is about to be a huge hot mess. And I'm serious. A huge hot mess. Spirit messages. I heard a huge hot mess. And it's all because people do not want to do the right thing. And that's just the truth. Karma. The karma bus is about to start come parking. Uh, 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 uh. 
And an older masculine air sign is about to make a very important phone call to someone very important in the state soon and reveal money, money laundering. About to cover his ass. And an older masculine air sign is about to make a very important phone call soon and reveal money laundering um, to cover his ass. So the karma bust is coming, man. I don't know who the hell you got. You guys have got in these damn positions. I'm pulling this in for a reason. Maybe one of you guys helped your buddy, buddy do get in a position. Maybe one you didn't. Maybe one you're connected to somebody that's got a buddy do in a, um, a medical, uh, high level medical professional position, and basically they're sucking ass at it. I mean, I don't know, but how that resonates, it's about to create a huge ass problem. And it's going to be a, I mean, a huge problem. We're talking about companies' revenue about to go down. A shit ton of people not want to uh, partake in the company or partake in the hospital uh, company. They're about to energy shift away because, of, I mean, a huge ass medical malpractice lawsuit's coming. I'm telling you this, you guys. This is download from the spiritual realm. Medical malpractice lawsuit coming. Abuse, uh, nursing home abuse, lawsuit coming. You, I mean, somebody has really, really just not done the right thing, period, point blank. The karma bus is coming. And there's an older air sign, femme, about to lose her job. And an older masculine energy, air sign masculine, I'm pulling in very heavy, sir. Uh, hopefully you're high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, and integrity. I hope, I don't know, I'm not you. But however that resonates, um, you're about to call somebody from the state very important and reveal some very important information um, to cover your ass. So I don't know. Um, it is about to blow the top off this shit. It is about to blow the top off this shit. So you plug it in how it resonates. Karma bus is coming. Boo, 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 boo. And an older air sign feminine is about to find out her home has severe structural problems. Severe. Huge, huge, huge crack in the foundation. Huge. It is about to cause this home serious, 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 serious problems. Probably going to be unlivable within the next three months oh my god you plug it in how it resonates we're pulling in this older air sign fin very strong i think she's the one that did this and i think she's the one that's getting um about to get serious karma and i'm serious uh older air sign fin has a home i'm assuming she's either got it paid off maybe she got it paid off from this money laundering shit or not i don't know but how that resonates um it sounds like she's about to get karma in the form of her home about to, I heard it has severe structural problems. So meaning there's some kind of crack in the foundation or cracks in the foundation. I heard huge crack in the foundation. So much so uh, it's about to cause huge, huge, huge problems for the um, home. So much so it might be unlivable within the next three months. Um so I think that's her karma. I think she's the one that was money laundering because there's a reason this older masculine air sign is about to call the state himself and reveal money laundering. I think on her. And there's a reason she's got a huge ass crack in her foundation in her home causing structural dip, um, structural deformities. Um, that's a huge thing. When you've got a huge ass crack, I heard not a little crack, a huge crack in your foundation of your home, that could cause it to call, freaking cave in. And I'm just being serious. Someone else is getting a huge ass wake up call. Someone else is getting a huge ass wake up call. I'm serious. I'm serious. This is serious. So Ace of Pentacles reversed. Money loss coming with the home. About to realize it. I mean, when you have to get somebody to come in and fix your foundation on your home, that is huge problems. Huge financial problems. She is about to start experiencing money loss and all ends very soon and very quickly. Very soon and very quickly. 
She is about to start experiencing money loss on all ends very soon and very quickly, very soon and very quickly. So money loss is about to come to her very soon and very quickly on all ends. So all ends. Um, and a younger Leo feminine, she has really grown accustomed to. She's about to find out she's been stealing from her. And a younger Leo feminine that she's um, become very accustomed to, she's about to find out she's stealing from her. So younger in the tarot is deemed as 35 or below. So I'm assuming this younger Leo fem is 35 or maybe 36 or below. Hell, I'm 38. I'm classified as older in the tarot. But whoever this Leo fem is, she's become very, very, she likes her. She likes her, but she's about to realize she stole from her ass. Um, I think physical money or it might be um, some kind of, Something else might be um, items, but she likes her. But the thing is, is she likes her because the uh, younger Leo Finn puts on a false ass mask to her. Um, and behind the scenes, she's stealing from her. Wouldn't you rather somebody just be direct up to your up front to your face? Apparently not. Apparently not. Um, she likes to be snowed. Well, she's about to get snowed with money loss all over the damn place. And that's just the damn truth. Um, whoever this person is. Um, this elder air sign femme, 35 or below, uh, 35 or above, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, she doesn't have good intuition and person people, a person people skills. I'll tell you that right now. Whoever this person is, this older air sign femme. Um, she apparently, um, uh, she apparently tolerates abuse of families with hidden cameras and doesn't advocate for that family in the past participates in money laundering or knows of money laundering because this older air sign masculine is about to reveal this shit on her. And she um, has some younger Leo femme stealing from her ass. I mean, we're getting all up in her energy today, but I mean, this is what we got. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is some serious crazy shit. Um, I don't steal from folks, but I don't expect folks to steal from me. But whoever this person is, they get around some very low vibrational, shady ass people and they just... Um, they love it there. I do not love it there. And that's the damn truth. Blessings. This is about to help you out in a huge ass way. A huge way. This is about to help you out in a huge ass way, huge ass way. A huge snowball effect is about to happen very, very, very soon, very soon. A huge snowball effect is about to happen very, very, very soon, very soon. So a huge snowball effect is about to happen because all these people have been making such horrible choices, basically. Stealing from folks, money laundering. Somebody's home is literally, I think, about to fall apart. I mean, I'm serious. It's not calling the crack guys for a little crack. This is a huge ass. I feel the home might fall in or the home might like come off kilter. I mean, like I heard unlivable probably within the next three months. So, I mean, this isn't from an earthquake. This is from, I mean, I'm just saying this is serious. And this older air sign feminine is about to get a call. From an investigator, it is about to mortify the hell out of them. And this older air sign femme is about to get a call from an investigator. It's about to mortify the hell out of them. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. And this older air sign feminine, one of her family members is about to call the state as well. And one of this older air sign femmes, um, family members is about to call the state as well. So um, I think they know about the money laundering or know about the hidden camera of the family's home in the past. All the people had to do in the past, as far as a hidden camera with the family, was advocate for the family. All they had to do was advocate for the family. If they had done that, it, I mean, that would have been problem solved. But yet people did not want to advocate. So now it's huge. I mean, they, somebody has created a huge ass 
I heard a snowball effect, but it's also a uh, Pandora's box, basically. And I heard the other day Pandora's box is basically blown open. Well, yeah, people are about to see it in 3D with medical malpractice lawsuit, uh, uh, a nursing home abuse lawsuit. And I heard both of those cases, the companies aren't, aren't going to win. The prof medical professionals aren't going to win. Somebody's building a case with a hidden camera in a resident's room right now, currently in the energetic space, in, um, in a nursing home. And I'm just being for real. I heard somebody else is about to. So I think one of you guys is about to advocate for your family member, and you're about to go get a hidden camera and um, ask, hopefully you ask and send your family member in this resident's home, um, which is, they live in the nursing home, so it is their home. So hopefully you ask permission and explain to them what's going on if you feel they're being abused or they think they're being abused. They can, of course, have one in their, in their, um, in their space in their um, room. But please make sure you get consent authorization from them and do it the right way, you guys. But if you do, because somebody's already building a case on a facility and a company, and I'm being for real. One of you guys is about to, just make sure you do it the right way, okay? You can have hidden cameras. You can have them in the residence room, absolutely. But just make sure you get your family member's consent authorization. Um, now, I don't know if they have Alzheimer's or... Um, or something of that nature. I mean, I don't know. Everybody knows their particular story and situation, but um, just make sure to do it the right way and do it. Make sure you're doing it for um, good intentions. Okay. And someone is about to move. Move cities soon and quickly. They are getting a huge ass wake up call. And someone is about to move city soon and quickly. They're getting a huge ass wake up call. So um, I think one of you guys is about to move cities. You're getting a huge ass wake up call. So you plug it in how it resonates, you guys. Well, as soon as I get through my child custody battle, I'm moving the hell out of here too. I don't blame you. This is a shisty ass city, shisty ass town, shisty ass people. I'm about to move up, hop, skip, and jump out of my fucking city, too. So, um, whoever you are, I don't know what city you're in, but you're getting a huge-ass wake-up call about wherever the hell you are, and you're about to move quickly. I can't, I, I, well, I could move quickly, um, if I wanted to, but I'm waiting on my kids. Um, my court date's in July, so I'm waiting on my kids. Once I win this shit, which I don't do anything that should, um, I don't do anything to not have custody of my kids, and that's just the truth. I, I love my kids with everything in me, every fucking thing in me, um, and I've always provided for them everything they've ever needed, and, th and that's the truth. Um, so I've done everything. I don't do any drugs, never have. I've been accused of doing drugs for years. I've been accused of being a fucking LPN in my community for years, when in reality I've been an RN since 2013. So. I mean, my community obviously does not respect me, so I'm going somewhere where I'm going to be fucking respected, you know, which everybody deserves that. Everybody deserves that. But whoever you are, sir, ma'am, about to, uh, getting a huge wake-up call, and you're about to leave out of your city soon, uh, whatever city you're in, I think it's about to be karma for your city because I think you actually use your head. Use your own head, your own logic, your own intuition, and you are about to do what's best for you. Some you might have kids, for some you might not. But I'm telling you right now, a city is about to go up in flames with lawsuits. And I'm telling you that right now, whoever this is for. Ace of Pentacles reversed. And it's all because with the Ten of Wands, biggest ass burden in the Tarot, money lost, money lost, money lost. And it's regarding this very toxic, older air sign femme that apparently does not make correct, sound, logical decisions. Whoever the hell this person is, I don't know who she is, but she has a position of authority and um, she works for the state, I can tell you that, according to the messages. But this femme unbudsman that works for the state, I think she's about to hand her shit to her or help hand her shit to her. And this um, um, air sign masculine, um, I think is about to too. And a family member. So you plug it in how it resonates. This is... Terrible. It's terrible. Let me see if I hear anything else.
Alabama is very significant. Texas, Florida. Tennessee. Alabama, Texas, Florida, and Tennessee are very significant. Alabama, Texas, Florida, and Tennessee. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit in this situation and this story if you do. You, um, if you're not these people, you could be connected to the lawsuits or um, or the very toxic air sign fin that works for the state that's basically um, about to be exposed. How that resonates, um, this, is, it's, this is terrible, and I'm serious. But it is what it is. Um, it is what it is. An older Leo feminine is getting a huge wake-up call. Huge. An older Leo fem is getting a huge wake-up call. And a Cancer masculine. Older. And an older Cancer masculine. So older Cancer masculine and older Leo feminine is getting a huge wake-up call. So whoever you are, sir, ma'am, hopefully you're high vibrational. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. You could have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, name, or Jupiter charts, or Cancer. Cancer masculine and Leo fem. Um, I don't know who this person is. I don't I don't communicate with anybody. Like I said, my whole community hates me. I've been wrongfully terminated four times in my city. I sit over here by myself all day and just do my shit um, and do my business, which is this. Because my community hates me. They know where I'm in the middle of a custody battle. They don't want me to succeed and do well. Um, I'm going to go to a place that appreciates me and respects me because um, obviously this toxic ass city doesn't and they can have the people that's in this city because um, trust me, um, I don't want to be around these assholes anyways. Um, and that's just the damn truth. So these people can have each other. Um, I don't want to be around it and that's the damn truth. All right. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and I'm a stand.